Good evening, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, June 24th, 2018, and I am here at Salve Regina University. I am here to attend a conference on biosensors, which I'm pretty excited about. Now, usually on this vlog, we talk about the all iron battery. I try to give a weekly update every week about progress toward a battery for storing energy with an iron anode and an iron salt cathode should be cheap, non-toxic, and we need a separator to go between the iron anode and cathode that is also cheap and ideally non-toxic. Now, that's why we tried a couple of the materials we tried previously. So last week we tried the agarose, which is cheap and non-toxic, but fairly low performance. And we also tried Nafion, which is not especially cheap, but very high performance. Now, Nafion is specifically engineered to act as an efficient battery membrane. So it makes sense that it would be good, but we'd like to kind of find another material with similar properties that might be cheaper, easier to come by, maybe something one could uh, synthesize, but that retains some of those great properties. So what are the properties we're talking about? We want something that's a polymer that restricts diffusion so that electrons can't passively diffuse through the system electric conductivity is bad. We want something with an immobilized charge that will help hold the charges we want and restrict the charges we don't want. That's what Nafion does. It has a, essentially a sulfuric acid immobilized within the structure that allows H plus to pass through, but not other ions. So we can think about doing something like that with polyacrylamide copolyacrylic acid. The acrylamide as structure and the acrylic acid acts to restrict other ions that we might not like to pass through. And this has been tried before. NASA tried it. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they used a cross-linked polyacrylic acid, actually used high energy ions bombarded to create the cross-links. We can use a chemical cross-linker. It's a pretty common chemistry these days. And we'll see if that changes things. I'm excited to find out if that works next week. We were still working on the polymerization process. It's a little bit tricky to get to work because it doesn't like oxygen, so you got to put it in a bag or between two pieces of glass. Just pull some tricks to get the oxygen away from it so that it can polymerize. But assuming that works, we will have some results for you all next week on a homemade, <laughs> lab-made membrane separator material that we can compare to the current state of the art for this battery, which is still Nafion. So if you like that kind of thing, please do tune in every week we talk about the all iron battery Th special thanks to nico for his hard work this week and also to our crowd funders who are kind enough to support this effort and i will see you all next week